next guest saw this 1975 time capsule of a house go viral, they were not in the market for a new home. But there was something about the untouched interiors and all that purple shag that made Nate and Alicia Jackson fall in love. Within 48 hours, their offer was in and to their pleasant surprise accepted. And two weeks later, they were moving all the way from Orlando, Florida to Fort Wayne, Indiana to start a new adventure in their new old home. And the Jackson family joins us now from that home. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. I got to tell you, I dig in this house. I feel a little uh, Mike Myers. Yeah, baby. I don't know why. <laughs> what is it? Austin Powers. But this is so cool. Nate, um, what made you really abandon your whole life to move to this house? What drew you in? Yeah, I mean, we were just kind of sitting there. I was, I was, it was a Saturday night and I was sitting on my computer on Facebook, as many of us are. Um, and I was looking at this post that was going viral. I mean, I saw it in like 10 different groups that I'm a part of on Facebook. This is crazy purple house. And I just, I was kind of looking at it just for fun, mm -hmm. um, looking at the pictures, mm -hmm. kind of enjoying it. But then I saw the price, which was super cheap, like well within our budget. And the location was Fort Wayne, Indiana, which at this point we were living in Orlando, but yeah. I grew up in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And that's, both of us have a lot of family here, grandparents, aunts and uncles and all of that. So at that point, it sort of shifted in my mind from a, oh, this is a cool house to look at right. to, wait, we could actually make this work. Nate, how much did your family pay for the house? Uh, it sold for uh, $161,000. Mm -hmm. $161, yeah. Wow. And it's a big house. Yeah, it's big. It's like 2,500 square feet. It's about double the size of our house in Florida. <laughs> okay. You know how many people are now going to be moving to your neck of the woods? <laughs> That's a great price for this house. <laughs> um, were you worried about the potential upkeep here. I mean, it's 1970, that's not yesterday. And a lot of the mechanics and things you need to keep the house going, Alicia, were you worried about that? Yeah, so I think we felt a little nervous about it because we really bought it sight unseen. We saw it over Zoom when that was it. We didn't see it in person. <laughs> oh gosh. So, but you know, Nate and I both just had this great gut feeling about it. And usually when we follow our gut, it turns out well for us. So when we walked in, we kind of saw a couple issues, but nothing. Nothing too crazy yet. We'll see, like, when we're in the reno. <laughs> okay, how, what kind of condition was all that carpet in? Because that would have been my first worry. All that carpet, uh, you know, carpet holds in smell. Carpet is hard to clean. Carpet yeah. from 1970 probably had a lot of stories that go with it. Uh, were you worried about that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, the owners, you know, they took really good care of it, but carpet does age, and it is really old carpet, and so... A lot of the photos don't show some of the issues that it has, but we're actually going to be replacing it with um, four bow mar marmoleum flooring. So there'll be hard floors in here soon that will still match the 70s era, but just, you know, easier to clean. <laughs> Alicia, I saw a picture of you and the kids vacuuming the walls. What is it like to vacuum a wall? You know, it's never something that I thought I'd ever have to do, but here we are. Um, let me just tell you, it's a workout. My arms are sore the next day. <laughs> I'm mystified, too. Do you know the history of why people were putting carpet on the walls back then? You know, there's a lot of things in the 70s we can't explain. <laughs> I think carpeted walls and bathtubs are one of them. <laughs> what was the most unexpected challenge, Nate? I mean, the staircase, maybe. yeah, I think the staircase, you can't really see it here, but um, it's, it has a spiral staircase that's completely open, and we have a two-year-old and a three-year-old. Oh, yeah, that's they, a nightmare. They're, 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 that's yeah. a, and, and listen, so, do you have a dog? Try getting a dog yeah. to go up a spiral yeah. staircase. It does not work. Yeah, so that is <laughs> that is a very 70s-era look that is not practical, and I don't even know why it was in style in the 70s. Yeah, so, I mean, the very first thing that I did when we moved in was I went straight to, uh, to the local grocery store, and I got chicken wire, and I yeah. just wrapped the staircase <laughs> so the kid's dog couldn't fall over the edge. They still climb the chicken wire, but it, it's up. We tried. <laughs> As you settle in, are you going to, to decorate it 1970s, I guess, lava lamps? Are you going to keep to the tradition of the home? Yeah, so a lot of, we call it mindful updates, so we're going to be updating things like the carpet and, you know, repainting, and keep, but we're keeping things like the... Um, the wood walls and things like that, but we're just making mindful updates, but still keeping that mid-century and 70s feel to the home, yeah. but just more suited for modern life. I buy a lot of items from the 70s, my dining room table, I have a couple of things. We were talking about how expensive it is to keep up with vintage. For some reason, 70s, it's not terribly priced, so you can go right. to some auctions and reasonably find 1970s pieces, at least for now. Absolutely, yep. Well, I can't wait to see the finished product. You guys have to keep, uh, keep us uh, up to date on the transformation of the house. This is fun.
Yeah, we will. We'll do. Enjoy. Thank you for joining us today. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us.